Hello. In this tutorial, we I'm going to show you how to um, how to make a basic filling boat. So this boat will uh, file file uh, HTML page, uh, text boxes, and etc. So um, first of all, we're going to add a uh, web browser controls. Just remove the dock like that. Resize the form. Um, then we're going to add a button to send the the information. Send two text boxes. And two label. Okay, so now this is this label will be the, the password. This label, this text box will be the user. So what we're going to do is um, send the information, the uh, information through the the two text box to the web browser control and this is the HTML HTML page that I done um, some minutes ago so um, it looks like this there's a you enter the username here username password here and then it send the data which username password so that's it so first of all we're going to uh, the web browser is going to navigate to the the um, the part of the the HTML page. So this is the yeah, the place where the HTML page is. So um, then we're going to add a click event event handler to the send button. Um, in this event handler, we're going to uh, to um, call a method that will make Read void. Send data. Okay, here we're going to call the method send data. Okay, and the send data method we're going to um, send data to the web browser. Web browser dot document dot get element by ed. Let's get the uh, this method get the um, um, HTML element by SED. So here, the ID of the user Azure text box is user. So get one by the user. Dot set attribute. So we're going to set the um, value attribute of the um, text box. So set attribute. So the attribute is value, and the value is text box one. Dot text. Okay, now um, we're going to um, send data to the um, password text boxes document dot get element by ed and the the um, password text box ed is pass so pass dot set attribute attribute is also value and the value is text box two dot text. Then we're going to send the data to click on the um, the button. So web browser one dot document dot get element by id. The id of the button is bot bot dot invoke member. And remember is click. So Normally it's supposed to work, but let's test. Let let's test it. So, if the username is user and the pass is password, send password user. It works. So this is the final code. Um, this method will be in the in the page bin link in the video description. So um, 
that's it